Alrighty. Fireworks of July 7th, 2021. Crazy Bill Fireworks. Stan Farsdale. Still packing up stuff. Got boxes and stands and tables and stuff. Uh, sweat cleaned up. This floor is hideous. They re-glued a floor on top of it. This building was built in 1972. Bank vault. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'll put it on my YouTube channel. But two crazy bill bags, boxes, and three bags left. That was it. We got some rockets. And we could have sold this if we stayed longer. But uh, I told them. I think it was what was it tuesday night and monday night I told them we were through at 11 o'clock they kept trying to come in i said we were trying to pack up so when you work and you try to squeeze in you do the best you can when two people are working and you're trying to box up and count and make sure your count's right because that determines what your pay is but the floor has been swept and the glue that comes up needs to be scraped and buffed they need to scrub this whole floor. This heat main through here because they don't leave the air on. But I'm going to take this permit down here too. Uh, and then cleaned out everything. i to get this stuff off the top of it. But they're going to come in tomorrow and pick up all the boxes and the shelving. And i get this little stuff off of here. But I could zoom out. I says, why does it gonna let me go? Sorry, folks. But anyhow, hey baby, go turn the breaker on for number seven. Yeah. This is a 1972 vault, and I'm gonna stick the phone in there, and it's starting to rust. Thank you, baby. Here's the tumbles and they sit and there's two this tumbler here and this tumbler here has to be done at the same time to flip a cam so it'll lock right now don't take much to move it but once you go to move it and put energy in it, it swings really good but it's starting to rust everywhere and uh that plate will have to be moved before it's shut but this thing built I don't have the year, but it's got the security underwriters. Yeah. But look at this locking mechanism on this thing. I'd love to have just it take it out and do a shelter or something. But you turn this, and it raises the door cam up and down here. And it turns both gears all the way, and it pulls in and out on the door to seal it. It moves it in and out. And uh, it comes in here and it cams in here to lock. So with it all the way out, it won't even shut. So with it all the way in, it will. But I thought this was cool. It also moves the pins up and down on it. But uh, you know, for this thing to be as old, and this lever pulls the pins out. And they don't come out but about an inch, inch and a quarter. But that's enough to lock behind that lip so they can't come out. And I love the silver work. It's just wasn't enough of it, stainless, the way the bolts are. Man... And it's probably a solid concrete wall. Most of them were, and they got rebar reinforced. I mean, in the 70s, they built vaults, but it does have a stopper because this thing swings, and it is heavy. Put them back in. That one's been hit and chipped a couple of times because people grabbing their hand. This has been taken off, uh, and the piece, the cam is right there at the bottom. And... Uh, those move up and down simultaneously to move the rods in and out. That's all that does. And when they're out, the cam causes it to lock to keep them from rolling. But this sucker is beautiful. 
it just needs to be polished up they want too much for this building but uh, they took all the boxes out the gate was open last year they just got a screw right here take them two out tip the top out and you can get that off that's got a stainless steel plate here and then this plate stands straight up so the door will shut and latch but that sucker's big heavy and bad i don't think no little bitty hundred pound woman wants to move that thing but i'm gonna show you the cam right there do what babe i don't think no hundred pound woman wants to shut and open this safe Mostly the bank manager did back in the 70s. Tellers worked the counters, but the manager controlled the open. Back then you did. Women's rights, everything's changed now. But the carpet, this, they... Right. You don't? Oh, you ain't a typical woman then, huh? Fuck that shit, I'm going to get home and pick your kids. The seam is uh, busted. Uh, they used it for a pharmacy last, and I uh, got to take these out the corners. We rented it for a month. In January, they don't want us to rent it because they want to try to sell it. But this building is a nice building. The air works, but 1972, she's falling apart a little bit, too. She, like me, she wore out. I said the floor where they glued it from the pharmacy is hideous. And uh, got water damage all through here and there's a hole it's been leaking and weeping but this whole seam has been leaking and they repainted it a couple of times but we got to leave it like it was when we come in the floor needs to be scrubbed but we ain't gonna rent no buffer to scrub no floor if they didn't want to do it when we rented it they ain't gonna get it done when we leave it it's just mainly here where the uh, walkway in the sun is the most because of this peaked up here and the doors, sun comes through it morning and evening. Got burglar bars on the front and rear. <coughs> Double set over the door in the rear because it faces the strip mall. Afraid about people breaking in. But no big fireworks left except for one case, which is six rifle range. Those were, what, $79? No, 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 those were 39. Those were priced good, but uh, we had a couple of cases and some of the smaller stuff. Uh, the other two stores we had, Centerpoint and Fairfield, they always do good and sell out. Midfield. Midfield, not Fairfield. But we just, the Whistlers we run out last year, Moon Traveler, so we got extra this year, and they didn't sell as good. All the Roman candles sold out. Most of the kids' stuff kind of stays if they uh, don't sell out. But anyhow, ain't no biggie. There's just very few stuff that's got to be packed up left. But it's taken us three days because we stayed open till 11 on the 5th selling. And we couldn't box much up without messing up them not buying stuff. So we had a few cases in the back that we didn't pull out. But that was just one or two. Everything else was out and open, so we had to box it up. And Miss Tuesday's labeling it up and listing of what we got and what we didn't sell, so we get credit for it, so we're not owed. And we got to do a few sparklers. But anyhow, Bill taught me how. Yep, her granddaddy Bill taught her well. She's so good. She's always done good in here. But anyhow. Hope everybody had a safe and wonderful fourth. I'm fixing to upload this, and it's not just because of a bank vault, but it's more because of fireworks and tallying up and making sure everything's counted for and everything's left in a clean, nice, orderly fashion. Tell the realtor they can look at it. They have to come in here and box it up on the truck tomorrow morning, and they can take the truck back. So, supposedly, this is the last one they got to do. Anyhow, appreciate it. Say bye, babe. Bye, babe.